What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Eric, and today we have some more Bon Jovi news, some pretty big stuff going on right now in the tour. Uh, we're going to talk about this set list and something insane about this set list that happened in Tampa last night, and also wanted to talk about Everett Bradley, who was not at the show. He's the percussionist. He was not at the show last night because of an illness, and there is talk that it could be COVID and that maybe multiple members of the organization, you know, not the band itself, but multiple members of the team may have been stricken with COVID, and that is very concerning for the tour going forward. But this set list right now, just to start there, it has been, the set list has been changing a little bit throughout the tour, and most hardcore fans not too happy about it. Obviously, casual fans don't care. They're just going to the show. The reason I like to follow the set list is, I mean, I'm curious about it as a fan. I like to watch clips, but also I'm going to a show here in Austin soon. So... I'm following the set list just to see what I can expect and actually I'm uh, quite disappointed with the way the set list has gone because it started out I was really happy about that opening night that acoustic set although I didn't love the we don't run version I would prefer that over not we don't run at all because I love that song and actually the, that version has grown on me a little bit I still prefer the rock version the, the full band version but they're not doing that anymore. And the acoustic set was cool. It had Someday I'll Be Saturday Night in there. That's out. The only song they're pretty much keeping is American Reckoning, of all things. Um, and other than that, they've added back in a whole lot of leaving. Lost Highway is still there. That's two songs that are just always in the set list. And they don't... Big fans like are like, why do you insist on playing a whole lot? I, mean, I don't have a problem with playing a whole lot of leaving in general. But it's just like... Why is that such a favorite? I mean, I, I, I don't know. There's so many great songs in the catalog that they could go to. Songs that could be even easier from Bon Jovi to sing. You can go with Lie to Me from uh, These Days, a song that they probably haven't played since the 90s. You can go with I Believe um, from the, oh, the opener of Keep the Faith. You know, it really starts in that low register. I'm pretty sure you could sing that. Maybe just try to keep it in that register. The rest of the band helps out for the chorus. I don't know. You, uh, you figure it out. You arrange the songs however you have to. But there are so many old songs that uh, John, could, I believe, could sing. And uh, they just stick to this. Obviously, we've lost a lot of the hits. Uh, they're not going to bring back Dry County anytime soon, always. Um, songs like that, Bed of Roses. Anyway, and you know what? As something that reminds me, Bed of Roses, always. What happened to the uh, this left feels right versions? I don't know. Is there any chance? Why don't they just do it those versions? Um, because they're easier to sing. Much easier to sing. So it seems like that that would be an option. But it actually, it's not an option because it's just... Uh, you know, I'm not trying to complain. I'm not trying to be negative, Nancy. I'm just, these are just my thoughts with this set list. And then last night, the craziest thing by far about this set list is there is a glaring omission. A glaring omission. The national anthem of Bon Jovi was not played. Wanted, dead or alive, was not played. Wanted, dead or alive was supposed to open the encore, but it was dropped. Um, I don't know if that's because John just didn't feel up to singing it, try to sing it. Now, before this show, it was actually an audible, and they did play it. An audible means they're going to decide on the spot whether they decide to play it or not. They don't have to. They might. They might not. It's an audible. It's an option. This particular show was in the set list, but they just decided not to play it. That's absolutely insane and just goes to show where this band is, is at right now, that they did not play Wanted, which uh, John has struggled with mightily on this tour. And, you know, I've been listening to the songs. I think he's getting a little better. I'm not here just to talk crap here. I think he's getting a little better. There are songs he sounds fine on. I think on Roller Coaster, he sounds pretty good. Um, even on Bad Names, sometimes he sounds good. Some, and, uh, and Keep the Faith is one of his better songs. For some reason, they really kill it on Keep the Faith. I mean, I don't know if they kill it, but uh, he sings Keep the Faith okay. Now, I'll give him that. He sings Keep the Faith okay. Some he sings better than others. And, you know, maybe I'm a little too hard on him some, uh, the last couple videos. But... Um, it really does sound pretty bad at times, like 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 cringe bad, at least on the YouTube videos. But from on, what I'm hearing is when you're in the arena, it is not that bad. You know, there's uh, the, the energy, there's the emotion, there's the hype and everything. And you go in there and you don't really know to sit your singing along. And it, the background vocals help and it's kind of drowned out. And it's just about the performance when you're in there. I sure the hell hope so. And we're going to find out. But I can't believe, you know, I might not hear Wanted, Dead, or Alive. Not, am I too pissed off about it? Not really if it was replaced with something epic that they don't play that much. That's not the case. It's just omitted. Um, what was it replaced with? A whole lot of leaving? I, I don't know. 
I mean, this set list right here, there's nothing. Okay, Just Older is a song that they added to the set list this year. This year. Okay, I guess shout out to that, that they're still playing Just Older. A song that they rarely played before this tour. Um, going back to, you know, uh, when it was uh, released back in 1999-2000 uh, on Crush. But um, other than that, yeah, no, I mean, it's okay. I mean, it, it's 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 what it is, but no wanted. Um, I'm just curious, y'all thoughts on that. And also, you have the Everett Bradley situation, which, I mean, he wasn't at the show. I mean, obviously, anybody with a pair of eyes who was there would notice that. And uh, the only word that I've seen so far, Bon Jovi talk here, Everett Bradley missed last night's show due to health issues. Wishing you a speedy recovery, uh, 100%. Um, there has been some talk on some message boards talking about that this was COVID, that several members of, of the band, not the band itself, but you know what I mean, the, the, the entire crew there uh, have COVID. But I don't know if that's true, though. I have not been able to confirm that. I know that back at the end of rehearsals right here, four people in Bon Jovi tested positive for COVID on the last day of rehearsal. He said everyone was double vaxxed, double vaxxed, boosted, uh, they got their boosters, they got their vax, you know, um, doesn't necessarily apparently stop people from getting infected. Not an expert on this topic, but um, this could be a, a, a big issue if that's the case. But they did play last night, and as of now, uh, they are scheduled to play tonight at Sunrise, Florida. So we'll see what the set list looks like. Will one it be played or is one it done? Is that acoustic set done? Love's the only rule done for the rest of the tour. I don't know. Any other surprises? Any new songs going to be played? There was all these rumors they were doing all these deep cuts. This is nothing new. We kind of hear this every tour. And then we expect the deep cuts. Usually what that means is they're going to play one or two. One or two. The only time that they really went through with that was back in 2010, 2011. And they played all kind of stuff from 7800. They played Roulette from the first album. That was just a trip. That was just awesome. And, and the hardcores loved it. But obviously, most of the fans in these arenas are casuals. I've gone to these shows with casual fans. A lot of my friends are casuals. And all they care about is you give love a bad name, a living on a prayer, one and dead or alive bad medicine okay if it ain't from the 80s they don't they ain't about it except maybe it's my life if it ain't from the 80s they ain't about it okay they ain't trying to hear it so that's uh, a lot of the casuals and i know you gotta placate those those individuals as well but you know the hardcores when we like to look at this set list, we want to hear some of those rarities we want to hear some of those deep cuts and so far this tour um it hadn't really happened also always and better roses i guess you could throw in for those casuals they like those too so there is a few 90s songs that that they'd love to hear as well but for the most part they want that 80s stuff but without too much speculation i don't know if it's COVID. could be uh you know there's some word there are rumors there are strictly rumors right now that you know a whole bunch of the crew have COVID. it could be completely false it could be that everett bradley simply was ill not feeling well and he'll be back and that's it not COVID related it's possible i don't know the details but it is a little bit concerning and it's definitely concerning when you have a bon jovi show full show and you leave out wanted dead or alive that is interesting that is a very interesting so who knows i'm really curious what tonight's set list will look like in florida in at sunrise florida but um last night it's getting more and more and more just plain in my opinion you know you take out the acoustic set list you take out wanted you take out love's the only rule and it's just you know at least there's still a couple of of, uh, of cool songs in there we don't hear a lot but other than that hey and you know john's vocals are they're maybe they're getting a little bit better as i watch these shows or maybe i'm just getting used to them uh, i'm not really sure either way so uh, that's good so i'll enjoy the show a little more you guys have a great day let me know what you think about wanted being omitted and best wishes to everett bradley Get well soon. Whatever your uh, current affliction is, get well soon. Get back in the band. We want to see you out there. We need you out there, bro. We need those vocals, my man. Um, but anyway, you guys have a great day. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. We will talk to you all next time.